and welcome to another tutorial for PRISM for Xamarin Forms. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use the I initialize interface to properly initialize your view model. If you have ever wondered how you can ensure that your view model is initialized from the navigation parameters before the view is pushed onto the navigation stack, then this is the video you've been waiting for. This video is brought to you by my GitHub sponsors. To see more from the mobile build tools, Prism Library, and Prism plugins, or to see more Twitch streams and YouTube tutorials, be sure to sign up as a GitHub sponsor at zam.dev slash sponsordan. As we get started, let's go to our main page and update our default label with a new binding for a property called message. We will want the message on the main page to get set one time and not get updated every time we navigate back to the main page. We are of course familiar with iNavigationAware, so let's implement this and set the message from onNavigated2. Before we run the app, we need to do a couple of things. First, we'll need to update our navigation call from our app, so let's do that and pass the message hello from Prism application. Next we need to go to view A and add a way to get back to the main page. For this sample I'll go ahead and add the Prism XAML namespace so that way I can use the go back XAML extension from Prism Forms. This will let me invoke Prism's navigation service and pass back a navigation parameter via the command parameter with a message. Finally we need to go back to our main page and add a button like we did for view A, but this time to navigate to view A. Now let's hit run and see what happens. With the app open, we'll navigate to view A. Now let's tap the go back button to navigate back to the main page. Because we're using the iNavigationAware's onNavigated2, We'll see a slight delay in which we have navigated back to the main page with the initial message hello from Prism application. But this is quickly changed as the on navigated to gets called and the binding updates. This isn't the behavior we wanted. Now let's try the I initialize interface that was introduced in Prism 7.2. We'll update the interface on the main page view model. We were setting the message property in the onNavigated2 method. We can rename this method to initialize, and we will have properly implemented the iInitialize interface. Now let's run the sample again and see what happens. Let's go ahead and tap the button to go to view A, and now we can tap the button to go back to the main page. This time, we can see that the message hello from Prism application remains the value of our label. It really couldn't be easier. Be sure to tune in next time as we continue working on this sample to see how to work with asynchronous code. Hey Dan here. Hope you enjoyed another wonderful episode. Be sure to hit subscribe and like so I can keep bringing you even more great content.